am. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. I'm so happy we are doing this, actually. I've, uh, I just realized, oh my God, we launched the Doré three weeks ago and we haven't even really like properly introduced all the reasons why we did yeah. this, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I, know, and I, I have the bomb. Oh, you have to, I, have, I have the bomb. Um, yeah, and so I wanted to ask you what, you just to tell me a little bit your skin story. Yeah, totally. So I had really- In two seconds. In two seconds, okay. I had great skin for a long time and then it got really bad and so I needed to fix it. And mostly it was really bad because I had horrible cystic acne that started in my late 20s. And I used a lot of prescription stuff that sort of like destroyed my skin and made it super sensitive. And so I needed to find a way of sort of bringing my skin back to that like healthy base level of being moisturized and sort of clearing up the acne and the scarring from the acne. So that was sort of where I was before we started working on this. And on my side, I think we met in a, an interesting place because for you, you had treated your skin very aggressively for a while yeah. because of the cystic acne. And on my side, um, I had a maturing skin, I'm 47. And so I, I'm at that age where you start looking towards, you know, really active ingredients or like retinols and you do lasers and all the rest of it. And I also had I mean, we had a gigantic beauty closet for a while. We, we were working beauty brands. And so I was always conscientiously like, do you say conscientiously or conscientious? Conscientiously. Conscientiously, yeah. Yeah. Trying on all the lotions and the creams and the, and the serums and all that. And my skin was really, really exhausted, very sensitive, very red. I remember because I used to tell you, it's like, look at me. I, I would be in a video and just... You know, I have a natural tendency because I have a very um, kind of redhead skin. I don't know how you call that, but it, it was becoming really crazy yeah. where it was, I was feeling embarrassed and, and that wasn't good. And so I started looking around and talking to you about, you know, just what I believed, you know, in terms of anti-aging. I don't like calling it anti-aging. I know it's, it's not really the best thing, but the idea of taking care of your skin for best texture, because I don't really care about wrinkles, uh, but just like keeping it healthy and moisturized and all that, and came to believe that, you know, the best everything is just having a well moisturized skin. And I was looking for that everywhere yeah. and asking you all the time. <laughs> and always, you know, I'm French, so I would always go back to French pharmacy. Yeah. There are amazing products and, that, you know, we've always kind of gone back there when we didn't know where to look at. And that's where we kind of realized that, unfortunately, um, there were a lot of ingredients that, you know, we started to be conscious about. Yeah, I think we became like more aware of the clean beauty movement in general and what was happening there. I started working with someone on the functional medicine side as well, and he was always recommending to look at EWG verified products if I was looking for skincare, um, just, you know, for, for safety um, purposes. So yeah, we, I think we found that there was a lot of great stuff, but something that was super affordable, something that was super clean and something that was super simple was uh, kind of hard for us to find. Exactly. And then I don't remember like, but you know, you, you know, being all in, like, you know, this entrepreneur and all that one day <laughs> and me being just like complainer and be like, I can't find what I want. Uh, you calling me and being like, hey, I have an idea. So how did it just come to you? I think it was a mixture of like talking to other entrepreneurial friends about their businesses and sort of how they got them started and um, just thinking a lot about also what our readers had been interested in over the years mm -hmm. and what we saw them really like coming back to on the site. And I think your skincare and your beauty in particular was something that everyone seemed to be very interested all the time. And I felt that we always had a really aligned approach on how we thought yeah. about beauty and how we thought about skincare. And in my very American way, I believe that like <laughs> you can do anything that you set your mind to. So I was like, well, let's do it. Let's do it ourselves. Then if there's, if we're, we're seeing there's an opportunity here and something that we think we have a strong point of view on, then let's make it, let's make it happen. Yeah. And I said, no. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, you did. <laughs> so French. 
<laughs> so fresh. Um, but then, but then I started opening my eyes, and you know, it's it's almost like. The second you said that, of course, my first reaction was no. And then because, you know, it's like, pfft, you know, that's just my first reaction on this one. Um, and then I was like, no, actually, there is so much to do. And I know exactly what's missing and what we're going to do and how and all that. And so it's funny. It's like you opened the door that I had never dared open. And then, you know, you and I made it happen. Yeah. And all our <laughs> yes. So I had one question for you that I think is a good one. Yeah. Do you remember when we were working on La Creme? For me, a cream, a day lotion is the most foundational beauty product of all. I have been in traveling and forgetting my cleanser, blah, 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 washing myself with soap. I know it's not good. But as long as I had a good cream, I always felt like I got it. Yes. And so when we were working on La Creme, I remember that it was so emotional for me. Yeah. And we had demands that were so, you know, we were so serious about it and we really knew what we wanted. That for me, I always wanted to perfect and make better and better and better. And I remember that you being much more decisive it's always been our <laughs> dynamic yeah. um just would keep going forever um and you being like no no we got it what made you decide or it's not decide but no like i think inside of yourself you knew yeah i mean i think i think i you know on one side i feel like i'm pretty confident in my decision making around things and i had been using it for a long time and i felt like i could see a real difference in my skin and i love the way that it felt and this was at a time where my skin was reactive to everything. So I was, I felt like I was a good sensitivity test, but at the same time, you know, we also put such a great group of people around us to try the products and people who weren't just saying everything was great, but were telling us when they thought things could be better. Um, yeah. And, and I think it's important, you know, to be able to gut check against people of different ages and ethnicities and skin types and everything so that, you know, we could really do something that would work for a lot of people. And, mm -hmm. um, and I, th we went through some iterations where people were like, no, nah, I don't think it's quite there yet. I don't think it's quite there yet. And I think once we got to the, the moisturizer that we landed on, I felt so good about it. It's so beautiful. Um, <laughs> we're, we're like super in love with our own product. I, I really love this. It's just, and, um, and the pump is just too much. It's like, I get too excited about it. But yeah, I think it was, it was, you know, building a, a sort of community around us that we really trusted to tell us, you know, their, their true opinions and to be honest with us about it. And I think once we sort of had universal validation from that, that group of people, we knew that it was the right, the right cream. And I think what's so great about it and what we were looking for was something that was so rich and so hydrating, but wouldn't feel heavy on the skin. And I think that that's a really hard mix to get. And what I love so much about this cream is that it's, you don't need a lot of it and it is super rich and super hydrating, but it doesn't feel heavy the way that I, other creams that I've tried have felt. And so to me, know, it's like the perfect texture. Yeah. And you don't need much. No. And the magic of it, I think it, it will take a while to, you know, finish your pot, <laughs> unfortunately for us. <laughs> Doesn't that, that doesn't even matter to me. It's just about the quality of the product. Yeah, that's what we went for. Yeah. And uh, we also had a little bit of a fight over uh, the cleanser. Yeah. And I think that fights are a good thing because it shows that, you know, we're pushing ourselves to get the best. And um, there were a lot of things. So I'm kind of a lazy beauty person. I don't like spending too much time in front of, of the mirror. That's one of our, you know, kind of mottos. Like, no. Yeah. Um, we don't have crazy routines and all that. And I remember when we talked the first time about doing the, making a cleanser, I was like, oh, no, no, I want you are like, you shouldn't use water because it's, you know, strips your skin of, you know, its defenses and all that. And I was like, there is no way I'm going to not use water. It makes me feel clean and fresh. I love the way the water makes my skin feel and I feel clean and it's just this, this thing. And I, and I, and I also wanted it to be foamy and you were like, I'm putting my foot down. Yeah. No, no foamy. And like, no foam because you just, your skin will end up being dry. And so, we came up with this amazing formula, which I'm sure you can describe better than I will be able to, because also you had this 
you know, very like deep knowledge of the idea of mixing water and you know your skin and all that because you've been very careful with that forever yeah I've, I was using micellar water for forever because I was so worried about putting any water on my face because of how reactive and sensitive and dry my skin was but with our cleanser so it's a, a clear gel formula that turns to a milky texture when water is added so it doesn't get foamy and soapy because um, a lot of foaming agents that are added to products are the things that really dry and strip your skin so what I love about the cleanser is that it does really leave your skin super clean. It takes off all your makeup as well, including like mascara and eye makeup. So you don't need a yes. separate product, which was a big thing for us too. That was the one other thing. Uh, again, it all comes down to a lot of my laziness is like, I can't use 17 products. I've never been good. And I used to do that even if um, a foaming product was irritating my eyes and be like, oh, whatever, I need to remove that, that makeup. Yeah. So that was my third ask was like, I need something that can remove makeup without making my eyes tingle or red or, or whatever. And I couldn't believe it. The first time we came to that formula and, you know, got it together, um, how much like how perfect it is and how we manage that. Yeah. I, I think that's, try that. Yeah. What's great to me about it outside of the removing makeup and everything is that after you wash your face, it doesn't have that dry, like tight feeling at the end. It, it feels really hydrated. And I think it's nice to be able to wash your face and not feel like you immediately need to put another product on top of it for it to feel like it has, you know, a, a balanced hydration. So that to me was really important. It keeps the skin barrier nice and healthy. Yes, that's, that's really good. Okay. Do you want to say a word about Le Bon before, uh, before we stop this call? Yeah. Just want it to be short and nice and easy. Uh, and maybe next time we can talk about, you know, our um, sustainability yes. yeah. or the design or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the balm is, to me, I love these types of products because the balm is like one of those things that you can do everything with. And I love a, a, like a multi-purpose. Again, like the fewer products that you can have, I think the better. And I love that the balm can do so many things. So it's made with only seven ingredients, which... Uh, was really important to us that you know we kept it super clean super simple and I, I mean I use it for everything I have it on my lips right now I put a little bit on my cheeks as like a highlighter but I've used it on bug bites after I get destroyed by mosquitoes and on burns that I've gotten while I've been baking chocolate chip cookies in the oven and all of those things and it just really helps you know the skin to heal and to be super super hydrated yeah it's uh, it's it's just so good to have with you everywhere and you can yeah share it and, and all that it's very it's very fun yeah. uh, good well um you know what let's keep it here and we'll do some more of these calls uh as we go i thought it was important to you know really present how our products uh, work and and why we love them and um you know just that simple aspect and 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 slowly you know kind of open up the world of dore yeah, let's do more of these. And if, if anyone has questions or subjects that they want us to cover in another video, I'm I'm super down. Let's let's do that. And you're so good at it. You're better than I am. Can oh, I no, no, no. That's it. Again, perfect pairing. That's, that we're <laughs> here for that for each other. It's good. <laughs> okay, well, talk to you later, darling. Talk to you later. Okay, bye. Bye.